Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to draw an, uh, a tipi. It's an, uh, an Indian tent um, and what is uh, remarkable about those tipis that is that they are made of sticks and the sticks are placed upon the ground and then uh, they point together towards uh, the top and in that way you get a uh, rounded circle at the bottom so an open space for uh, Indians to uh, sit on and uh, well take shelter from heavy rain or heavy sunlight and the wind and then they uh, take those uh, animal uh, skins and they wrap that around the sticks so that's quite awesome and I thought uh, well I just want to, to draw something just uh, out of my head in a, in a fantasy landscape now uh, what the Indians also do is they uh, make sure that one or two of the flaps in the top can be opened so that once they uh, have a fire going then the smoke can escape through the hole in the top of the tippy and uh, most of the heat and should you want to see this drawing in real time and you want to draw along with me then you can find me on my patreon page you can find this film there now I also want to create uh, a little bit of uh, a sky maybe some clouds in it so I'm just imagining um, the color of the sky Now this of course is uh, just a black and white charcoal uh, try it's uh, well I want to maybe make a painting out of it but before I start painting I always uh, first do some research on uh, the army newsprint paper and um, that's very cheap paper and you can just uh, let your fantasy go and see what that brings you and I think um, the tipi is a, a very nice basic form um, to uh, create and it stands out in uh, in the landscape I hope it, that it will stand out and um, that you can just imagine uh, this abandoned tipi maybe the the owners are out for hunting or something so that's what I wanted to do and um, what I also imagine is uh, the light coming from the right back side so that immediately uh, will give a uh, casted shadow upon the left side of the tipi and of course there's also a lot of shadow on the inside of the tipi and maybe there are some furs there lying on the ground or some stuff so I'm just imagining that and I'm imagining uh, a tundra or, or something or a savanna or uh, something like that uh, a bit of a wild landscape and the left side of the tipi also uh, catches a lot of shadow because of the sun I want to create a, uh, a sunset on the right side so these are the sticks on top this is the Sun that will be setting there and I'm just simply uh, imagining some kind of mountains in the far distance um, and so the light is coming from behind and so the front of the tipi and the left side of tipi uh, will catch a lot of shadow so I'll simply put that in I'm always playing around with lights and darks with the uh, charcoal pencil 
and uh, just see what it brings me and uh, putting a lot of uh, pigments on the AMI newsprint paper so uh, then I can uh, rub this in later on with a uh, paper tissue I also create some grasses and then I take that paper tissue just a dry paper tissue and I start rubbing in uh, the pigments into the uh, newsprint paper now I work with two kinds of erasers and that will be the kneaded eraser that's this one and the uh, pencil eraser that's this one now the kneaded eraser is very nice for clouds and those kinds of stuff but uh, this one, the pencil eraser, is very nice for um, drawing in detail and to erase even deeper so that the, the color of the paper comes back. And it's also ideal for creating grasses. I've created a little bit of a, uh, a lake here, a water surface. Uh, I thought that would be nice and uh, this is the edge of of the Sun going under and then this is the side of the stick so the Sun is shining upon uh, the sticks of the teepee so that's just my way of thinking uh, how can I uh, create as much as lights and shadows to be able to um, get a convincing tipi standing there on the ground in between the grass. Now the back side of the tipi also catches some of the sunlight and this is uh, the landscape in the far distance. And what is also uh, a fact that is uh, once you've rubbed your pigments into the paper then the uh, the contrast disappears a little bit of course but you can easily get the contrast back in by going uh, in there again with the charcoal pencil and then you just uh, get those details back Now, what I also want to try is um, make some of those um, markings that the Indians paint. Uh, they paint it on their clothes, they paint it on their faces, and they paint it on their horses, and so on and so on. And oftentimes they are uh, the colors of the tribe, but they also use uh, the natural paint uh, to, for instance, paint their horses to make them more brave or to make them uh, more swift or something. So I always like that and uh, even though this is just a black and white sketch, I can just imagine how amazing it will look once I turn this sketch into a acrylic painting or a watercolor painting or something like that so this is my my brainstorm this is the way that I'm thinking and uh, using my imagination and just imagining stuff maybe here is uh, some kind of a pot or something or a, um, well, a holder for the arrows or something. I'm just, I'm just drawing some things and see if it works. And uh, I also want to create some grasses. So uh, the grasses are on the sides of the teepee, not in the front, of course, because that will be uh, flattened out by uh, because there was walking there. But uh, on the sides, uh, I can have some grasses going in and this is the pencil eraser again I can just 
uh, well, put some imaginary uh, uh, grasses in there, or some reeds. But I also want to create a little bit of clouds in the sky. That's that's nice. And I use the the kneaded eraser for this. I just make circular motions and in that way I get a very soft cloud in the sky. I have enough uh, pigments into the rub it into the paper and then I can just lift some of the pigments out of the paper and then uh, create those clouds and maybe some flares of, of clouds in the sky with the pencil eraser. Just lovely to do. It's just uh, imagining stuff, and I don't care if it's not all that correct or something. But it's working. It's nice and it's great fun to do. So, should you want to watch the whole process, you can you can join me on my Patreon page. There are uh, more than a hundred tutorials there. So. Well, you will not get bored. <laughs> I would say thank you for watching and uh, take care.